when Cambodian forces seized an American cargo ship off Koh Tang Island in May 1975, a rescue squad of 11 U.S. helicopters was sent to retrieve its crew. The extraction started and all hell broke loose. Um, the first helicopter came in and, and just the, the amount of gunfire in both directions was just unbelievable. The fighting was so chaotic that three Marines were left behind and disaster struck. On the way into the island, we tried to land at first, but unfortunately we could not. There was so much gunfire coming, rockets being shot at us, actually RPGs. Cambodian forces shot down a CH-53 helicopter carrying 26 American souls. Only half were rescued, leaving 10 Marines, two sailors, and an airman unaccounted for. It really bothered me that we never had any remains to bring home to the families. Um, there was no honor. They were still on that beach. A quarter century later, the Joint POW-MIA Accounting Command, or JPAC, identified the remains of the missing. Today, on the 38th anniversary of the Battle of Koh Tang, the fallen are finally being laid to rest at Arlington National Cemetery. For the family, friends, and brothers of those lost, the burial helps heal wounds left open for far too long. Uh, it brings continued closure. You know, the, these people are never going to be forgotten by any of these people or by their families. Um, they are my heroes, and um, they're getting what they should get. The 13 service members who perished in the crash are now among their brothers in arms at Arlington. I think bittersweet is all you can use um, because of the missing and not losing and then sweet because they are finally home. They are finally being laid to rest. The search continues for the three Marines left on Koh Tang to bring them home for a burial of their own. Lance Corporal Lisette Leva Arlington National Cemetery, Virginia.